Ichigo, 100%. Strawberry, 100%. Strawberry, 1 divided by 1. Which probably one of my favorite series of all time at one point. And I'm sorry, that is some delinquent shit to say. That is some wild shit to say. But it's definitely a fact. Ichigo 100% is cold. Let's talk about it. It has been a minute since I read the series. It's getting close to a decade. But the crazy thing is, I remember this series clearly. Clearly. And I'm trying to make this video a spoilerless video to get people who've never read the series to read it. Now, if I read the series, I don't know how I'll take it. But at the time, I was in middle school, and you already know how a nigga is in middle school. Every nigga who's in middle school is a fucking demon. Look at their search history. Look at their Google Chrome. Look at the viruses. <laughs> look at the adware. Look at the bloatware. Every boy in middle school left up to their own devices without supervision is a demon. And Ishiga 100% is just another thing I ran across as a demon. I picked up the series skeptical on whether it'll be good, but sure, it'll be good if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but hey, I went into Ichigo 100% with that type of mindset at first. But I was thoroughly surprised by chapter 1, 2, or 3 to where I actually was falling in love with the series. I fell in love with the series fairly quickly. The things I say in this video probably will be from the first chapter. And I'm not going to hint at anything or spoil anything. I'm going to say it again. I'm not going to hint at anything or spoil anything. Because I definitely want you to read it. And the thing is, I may say Ichigo 100%. I really mean Strawberry 100%. But I watched Bleach, learned that his name was Ichigo Kurosaki, learned that Ichigo meant Strawberry. I had to start calling Strawberry 100%, Ichigo 100%, just to pay tribute to my nigga Ichigo. And to pay tribute to how cold the series is. It deserves that name, Ichigo. So I'm gonna save for the rest of the video. <laughs> but yeah, Ichigo and Resent is a 167 chapter roller coaster. Do not watch anime. I repeat, do not watch anime. I hear his buns, I saw a clip, and it is definitely buns. Fuck with the manga, strictly. Please. But please report back to the video after you finish it, because I tell you, and I assure you, you're gonna read the first 10 chapters, then fly through the rest of it. The journey of Jump High as a character and his character development is beautiful. He went from zero to hero. This nigga is code. I fuck with Jump High heavy. At first I didn't fuck with his choices, but I fuck with how his choices were really his own choices in the series. It was definitely an organic series. Even though it's definitely some smut harem shit, it is some beautiful smut harem shit. It is code. I might need to grab my blanket right now because my toes are freezing because the temperature of this room just dropped. Strawberry 100% is definitely freezing material. It is definitely C O L D. Code. <laughs> Please go and read that shit, man. The story starts off with our young fiery haired protagonist, Jump High making his first jump into the streets, trying to finally confess to the girl he's always had his eyes on, and he jumped into the streets to become the corniest nigga of all time with how he confessed. I'm not gonna say it, cause I'd rather you read it, even though I can say it right now and it won't really affect your experience or love for the series. I'd rather just have you read that part of the series with my voice snippet and, and bust a fucking gut laughing, cause that shit was the corniest shit of all time. But it set the stage for how this nigga's gonna change throughout the series, bro. This is a coming of age tale, and this is definitely uncast. Yeah, a young cast with hopes, aspirations, and dreams. The ability to be more socially active than all of us, and build better and stronger bonds than most of us. In the face of reading stories like Attack on Titan, Fullmetal Alchemist, Erased, Your Line in April, Bakuman, Death Note, whatever, Hunter Hunter, but for some reason, Strawberry 100% consistently stays in my top five. It could be a sentimental thing. It could be because this is a really weird time in our life because middle school is a weird time of everybody's life. Strawberry 100% has a very fine place in my heart because of two things. Because one, you can't be too vocal about loving it, but for two people who love it really do love it. I don't want to say that Ichigo 100% is a story you'll either love or hate because I think it's also based on the age you read it. Anime and manga is something you love that helps sentimental value as a kid, but if you were to read it now, you would probably hate it. But because of how much it's affected you and how much it's grown as a person, it would always find a fond place in your heart. 
Starbreaker Resent is definitely that to me. And if you're a demon, you're gonna love it. If you like a good love story, you'll love it. Starbreaker Resent is a beautiful love story about a boy who becomes a man masquerading in the guise of a harem plot before the cancellations of Twitter and before the hypercritical critics of YouTube. It is a roller coaster that is undervalued. It is a roller coaster that should have sold out tickets. Please get yourself a ticket. Please read it. Tojo's my main. Sasuke's my side. Nigga, this shit is cold. As a kid, I was a diehard Tojo simp. And I was simping a little bit for Satsuki, nigga. But hey, I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate you for getting this far into the video. Because this was a rant that you needed to hear, my nigga. Go to your favorite plug site when it comes to manga. And start reading Ichigo Percent. You'll thank me later. But hey, but, hey on a serious note, for real, fuck with Ichigo Percent. I think it'll be a joy for most niggas to read. I'm currently fucking with a lot of other series right now. I'm probably gonna make a video similar to this to another series that you probably have not read or heard of before. So, so stay tuned because I'm trying to enlighten y'all niggas for real. I'm currently fucking with the Grey Mon, Play More, Berserk, Finish Attack on Titan. I'm gonna drop content about Promise Neverland, Jutsu Kaisen, Full Metal, Main Abyss, Erased, Beast Stars. Platinum in Hunter Hunter, yes, sir, and probably some other throwback 2000s hits from Toonami. You feel me? Stay tuned, this is gonna be a journey. I appreciate y'all niggas for watching. Kiss on the left cheek, slap on the right. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, man.